One dollar might not just get you one way, but gets you a long way. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of It Book Vlogs. I'm Mendon and today we're going to find out what you can get with one dollar in Singapore. Hello, can I have nasi lemak fish? Yeah. Thank you. How much? One dollar. One dollar, thank you. Okay, welcome. We are now at Topayo Long 7, Block 20. And the first stall that we're going to try out is Kedai Makan Muhajirin which sells one dollar nasi lemak. And they will come in two variations. The first one is with fish and the second one is with ikan bilis. So the nasi lemak comes in a pretty standard form. There's the rice, there's the sambal, the egg, the protein which is the fish and one slice of cucumber. But actually, $2 at normal hawker centre is exactly what they have here. Eh. Just that maybe they might be in smaller portions but the fish is pretty decently sized. The reason why they kept the price point this low at $1 is because they are situated at Topayo with a lot of elderly. So usually how I eat nasi lemak, I will mix the sambal and the rice together. Have a solid hefty scoop over here. What impressed me the most is that the rice is still warm. <sighs> wow. I thought the sambal was sweet. But it started to get a lot spicier nearer to my throat now. So, woo! For nasi lemak, right, what I'm actually looking out for is the texture of the rice. And this is fluffy, this is... The grains are separated enough that when I add the sambal into it, right, it doesn't become a, a undercooked porridge, that kind of texture. Okay, cooling time. Let me show you guys, okay, what I learned. I'll peel off the tail, tear along the flesh, and just like pop it off at the head. You can just peel down from the bones, and then this is another portion out already. And then you just peel off the bone through the center. So you just flip it a bit and then you tear it off. Dip it into the sambal. Just like one giant piece of that right there, I'll just eat. Pretty well cooked. What I would expect from ikan kuning. I think all together, this really makes a solid breakfast eh. For one bubble tea, you can buy six of these eh. And you make five other people happy. Why not right? Auntie, I want a la mian. A mi fen mian. Ike Utan Ryo, Ike Yu Ping. Right, go Sao. We are now at Maxwell Food Centre, and the store that we went to is called China Street Rickshaw Noodles. If you're wondering why it's called Rickshaw Noodles, right, it's because this bowl of noodles right here that cost just a dollar is what Rickshaw pullers in Singapore in the past were used to eat. It used to only cost five cents, but because like your inflation and stuff, it's now just a dollar. We have the classic Rickshaw Noodle which is just yellow noodles with a bit of vegetables and a bit of shallots. We have like bihun noodles. They also have like fried kway teow, which you can like mix and match with the noodles and the bihun. And sides such as luncheon meat and fish cakes. So all in all, we have three plates, right? It is a total of only $3. Okay, we're gonna try the classic rickshaw noodles first. Very hearty, very warm. If this was like in a $2 bowl, right? It would be perfect for a rainy day. This would be a very easy tea break for you. So for the noodles, right, where we're at the store, it seems to be cooking for quite some time already. So it's not as chewy as I like my noodles to be. It's a bit on the softer end. As for the flavour of the broth, right, similarly, because the noodles have been cooked in it for a bit too long, there's a bit of alkali taste, but you can still taste the sweetness from like whatever the broth is made of. So my guess would probably be like ikan bilis and vegetable roots. Honestly, right, if you order this, at any other hawker store. This would probably send you up to like $2.80, even $3 sometimes. I'm gonna similarly mix my chili in. Hopefully I don't choke this time around. There's no way that a store that has existed from the 60s, right, can ever mess up fried bihun and fried noodles. Lah. I would actually prefer the fried noodles than the rickshaw noodles because the fried noodles are chewier than the ones that have been cooked in the broth for I don't know how many hours. The chili on the other hand is just like any other chili that you find at any economy bihun store. Oh, the cool thing is that after we ordered, right, they took the fish cat to the lunch and then they went to refry it again. So these two, right, are actually still warm. Overall, I actually prefer the fried bihun over the rickshaw noodles, even though like the rickshaw noodles is something that they are famous for. There's only one occasion that I would prefer the rickshaw noodles over the fried bihun is when it's raining and I just need something quick, something warm to fill up my stomach fast. Hi. 
，有一个鲑鱼披萨。你要大的小的？我要一块的。一块 ，OK， 还有吗？有一个番薯。跟一个木薯，多少？两块八。好。Thank you。哎，你过来。这里的咖啡啊。这里。谢谢。嗯，谢谢。We are now at Balestier Food Centre. The next one dollar item that we are getting is from Boon's Pisang Goreng. We've got pisang goreng, which is fried bananas, deep fried sweet potatoes, and deep fried tapioca. Every one of these pieces costs less than one dollar, and they deep fry this on the spot. This tapioca that we just ordered was literally taken from the deep frying oil onto the frying basket and then to our hands. Eh. So, right off the bat, we are just gonna try the fried banana first. You know when bananas under heat or when they are ripe, right? They have that super, super sweet taste, a bit of caramel. This exactly has that, and this is a mark of a good going pisang to me. But the batter is still very, very, very light, very, very, very crispy. Easily one of the better ones I've tried in Singapore already. When it comes to Chinese battered food, right, like deep fried battered food, I would usually get sweet potato because I like how that sweetness contrasts with the savouriness of the batter. The sweet potato is not mushy, so there's still that bite to it. And it is not overly, overly sweet. This is just nice. Okay, tapioca. Until now, I'm holding it, right, it's still warm, eh. Yo, this is so good, eh. It is very, very light on the inside even though it's covered by so much batter. Eh. The inside is actually very, very soft, you see? It has the texture of nian kao, but a lot, a lot lighter than the usual ones that you will find during Chinese New Year. This deep fried tapioca is a must order when you come here, along with the going pisang. Can you give me a yu tiao? Ma? Hi. How much? Okay. Okay. Thank you. We are back at a coffee shop near Bendiman Food Market. We have went back to the classics of getting Yu Zha Kui. So, what I usually do, right, either for breakfast or tea break, is to buy one Yu Zha Kui and then just dip it inside the coffee and then eat it like that. Food fun fact with Eat Book's book. Yu Tiao actually comes from the Southern Song Dynasty. Like, everyone hated the Prime Minister. La. So, as a symbol of them hating the Prime Minister, right, they took two dough sticks, deep fried them in oil to show that they're gonna suffer for all eternity, and then break them up. <laughs> so, it's basically taking a couple, right, deep frying the couple. La. Then after they deep fry until you cannot deep fry already, uh, they break them up. Eh. <laughs> this is the story behind Yu Tiao. It is not as crispy as I like it to be, but the fluffiness is there. The inside is very bready, but I would prefer it to be a bit crispy on the side so that when I dip it into my coffee, there's still that crunch to the entire Yu Tiao. Usually I'll count like 3 seconds. Do you see how well it soaks up the coffee? Right. Because of how bready this particular Yu Tiao is, right? It soaks up a lot, a lot, a lot of coffee. This is a solid tea break. You can find this like at any hawker centre out there, okay? And usually it costs a dollar or less than a dollar. Hi, uncle. My name is Uke. What's up? How much? Three dollars. Three dollars. Thank you. Thank you. The final dish for today is Tutu Kuei. In total, this costs three dollars, which means that every piece of Tutu Kuei is priced six. 3 divided by 5. Yes, 60 cents. And this means that this is under $1. <laughs> okay, the reason why I'm so adamant about having this tutu kueh, right? Because this tutu kueh is from this documentary that we shot a couple of years ago on this uncle. You know, you need to wait how long to get this tutu kueh or not? Just now when we ordered it, right? It was half an hour. When we went to pick it up, the uncle behind us tried to order this. Now guys, we wait for one hour. Eh. So, right, you know why is it called tutu kueh? Because in the past, when they were using charcoal and water to steam the rice cakes, right, the sound that it emits from that entire setup is like. Tu, 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 tu. Okay, I'm just gonna have one now. It means as good as I remember it to be. Like, you know when you eat tutu kueh, sometimes the flour is too thin or sometimes the filling is too thin, right? This is just nice. Eh. If you look at the ratio, the flour to the ingredients to the flour, right? You get a very even amount of both the chewiness from the rice flour and then the liao that's inside. The uncle only sells in two flavors, peanut and coconut. This wins like the rest of the tutu kueh that I had by far. The uncle really has it all mustard already. This is probably the most perfect tutu kueh I've had like in my life in Singapore. Come over to Boon King and try Uncle Ho's tutu kueh. We are finally done with our $1 food hunt in Singapore and my favourite of everything right, is the tutu kueh. You know why? It is like my childhood, like every time I go past Malam, I will always have tutu kueh and this is 
one of the best ones that I've had like in Singapore, okay? In all honesty, right, there's a way to get cheap food and good food in Singapore. If you know any more food that costs $1 or less, other than all your kacang puteh, there's small, small things, right? Do let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch more of our video over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! I'm going to buy more tutu kueh now.